In this segment, we'll look at the QuiltMotion's main QuiltCAD screen, identifying the general toolbar layout. We will look at the right side toolbar, then move to the top left toolbar, then the bottom left toolbar, then last we'll be looking at the center of the screen or the pattern placement area for quilt blocks. Starting at the top right edge, we can see the quick layout area. This is where we can quickly go in between panograph mode and quilt mode. Here we also can select the size of our blocks and the size of our quilt. You can create and size a panograph, quilt, or blocks to your exact quilt dimensions. Directly below is displayed the actual sizes, the block height and block width along with the overall quilt height and width. Moving below the quick layout area, we have the quilt files area. Here is where we open pre-existing panographs and quilt top patterns. Directly below we have our pattern selection area. The pattern selection area lets you view the different patterns included with the program and any patterns you've created previously. Open the patterns and simply place those patterns into your block area. Below that is a button that allows you to copy the pattern and place or paste that pattern into the block. Below that we also have the Quick Tools. Here you select the pattern design software that is included to access and edit an existing pattern or to create a new pattern. Below that we can print these patterns or panographs or quilt layouts. We can also export, or most importantly, we can computer quilt those patterns here with the software. You can take this pattern and tell the machine and carriage to automatically quilt the design that we've created. Below that, we have an advanced tool button panel layout. This is also where we will zoom in on different blocks if we want to make those a little larger, deleting the selected block patterns, resetting them, and deleting those all, and quitting or exiting the program. We go now to the top left corner, and you can see that we have File and its selected set of options, and Edit and its options. And here is a Preference Toolbar. We will go into this in more detail in later sessions. But briefly, here's where you can change the size and color of your lines. Then the selecting options. Selecting the different quilt blocks, alternating rows, different blocks, borders, corners, and so forth. We then move into the View toolbar, which allows us to zoom. The tools include the Pattern CAD software and some advanced tools. We can also see our help options included with the software. You can also register and read the license agreement, as well as check for updates here with this toolbar. Down at the bottom, you'll notice that we have a couple of additional commands. These are used when working with a pattern on the screen. This allows you to stretch or manipulate the pattern. It also allows you to rotate these patterns. And you can also skew and shift these patterns as well. We will demonstrate these in more detail in the following video presentations. This concludes the basics of the QuiltMotion QuiltCAD screen.